Hello everybody, my name's Bill and I know stuff. And what I know today is how to create a video loop in Shotcut. And a video loop is simply when you take a shorter clip and you tie the beginning and the end back to itself. That lets you create longer videos of things you might want to use for a screensaver or for a background or something you just want to relax to. It's relatively easy to do, even though there's a little work between getting that front piece and that back piece tied together just the way you want them. I can show you how it's done. So let's jump into Shotcut, get this done, have some fun with it. Go ahead and open up Shotcut and then open up the file that you're planning on looping. This is a Portland Porthead Lighthouse that I have gotten from my vacation. And I really like this a lot. Um, now, the hardest part of this whole thing, quite frankly, you spend more time on it than anything else, is finding the two places that you want to tie together. The beginning and the end. And you want to get them where whatever's going on in the frame is sort of the same. And you can't always do that. Uh, in this case, tide coming in, tide going out, and I want to find a spot where they're relatively the same, the same actions going on, and so I want to blend that because I only have about a three-minute clip here. I'm going to spend some time doing this, but I'm not going to make you suffer through that. So I found two spots where the tide comes in is just starting to go out. It looks roughly the same, and I'm going to take those and grab that, and then I'm gonna add another video track and make a copy. And I'll paste that copy on the other track, and this is where I'm gonna find out whether I'm close to where I wanna be or not. Even though there's a little lag in there from Shotcut, that looks pretty close. And if I wanted to make changes, I could make the video a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Remember, you can drag the clip out but I'm trying to make sure that I have two points that are the same. So I like what I have. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to paste the copy so that I don't have to mess with it. That way I have a reference if I want to paste other ones and make it longer. Ideally, I'm shooting for a five-minute clip. All right, that looked good, sounded reasonable. We'll zoom in, take a look. So right there, I'm going to go ahead and try adding a transition. And I'm going to pick the number of frames. And I'm going to use three for right now. And we'll try it and see. That looked pretty good. Still sounds good. I do have a trick for blending the sound, and I will show you that after we do the first part of the clip. All right. I'm not quite happy with the way that blends, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust it just a little bit more. Let's try five. And then we'll just play it through again. Oh, I like that much better. Yep, there's a slight hitch in there you might see. No matter what you do, you'll probably have that. You can, Like I said, you can spend a lot of time trying to blend these perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And since I want my clip to be a little bit longer, I want it a, about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add one more. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to count back those frames. And blend it the same way. So I, I used five each time. All right. I'm happy with that just the way it is. I'm going to leave that other clip there for now, and I'm going to go ahead and export this. 
and take a look because sometimes when you export it, the video doesn't quite come out the way you want. So I'll look at that and I'll see. And I'm going to do this quickly so you don't have to wait for it, the whole thing to, to export. So I'm going to accelerate it. All right, let's look at the clip. And I specifically want to see the transition points. And uh, so you can see it's about seven minutes now, but that's because I left that other clip in there. I want to find a transition point. Let me grab that time off the timeline. Yep, I'll use that one. Let's look at that point in the video. See, it, that's a blink and you miss it moment. I, I don't even hear any hitch in the sound. I'm going to go ahead and create this as a clip. And I will leave everything just the way it is, except I'm going to delete that bit off the end. All right. So I, I think the sound sounds fine, but I am going to show you how to blend in case you've got it and there's just a little bit of a disparity. We're going to use that clip I saved. We're going to go to the end of the clip and just grab a few seconds of it. We'll split it off, copy it. Go ahead and add another audio track. and grab that little bit that you cut off there and we're going to paste that onto the audio track uh, make sure you got the track selected and just have it straddle where that transition is and like i said you don't need much and this can vary depending on if you have some pitch changes between the beginning and the end of your clip oh i think that sounds just fine. We'll listen to it again. I, I didn't have a problem with it before, but this is just to demonstrate how you can match the audio up a little bit on your loop. And I'm going to make sure I hit both the transitions for that. And normally it doesn't need to be exact. I would say depending on what you're doing, I, I've got waves going. So you expect it to be a little bit different. Oh, I, I shifted a bit. Let me get this one back. All right, let's delete that clip now. Oop, I got to get that little bit I copied at the end too. Would have been better just to drag it down, I think. All right, here's the entire clip. We're going to go ahead and export that. Let's take a look at it. There's a five minute loop. And I'm going to jump in time to check that transition one more time. Still looks good, still sounds good. I honestly, I don't think I had to do anything with the audio, but I wanted to demonstrate how you could do it. All right. So now I've got a five minute clip. I'm not going to use these guys anymore. I am going to pull in, if I want to make a longer clip, I'm going to pull in that five minute clip and start stringing them together. And it's the exact same thing. You put them in. And you don't want to forget to do the transitions in between. And then I will string, and it didn't make you sit through it, I will string a whole batch of them together to hit my hour mark. And I'll create the transitions for all of them and go ahead and export it. As always, when I'm done, I'll go find a, a transition point and I'll check that in the video let me find it 
All right, let's give it a second. All right, there we go. Blink and you miss it. Hour long loop now at this point. Um, we want to go ahead and save it and call it good. And uh, now you know how to create your own video loops. Even from a short piece of video, you can string it out and make it much longer. I really like the way this came out. I'm going to go ahead and post it in widescreen and then the long form format on the channel in case anybody else wants to enjoy them too. I'm Bill. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, I can use all the friends I can get. Y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now.